y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. I love to hate my new phone. Did they give me napkins? Yes, they did. Good. Hey! What's up? All right, how can I do this? Please, Lord, let this work. Uh -huh. Y'all, yeah. I've been eating like crap for like two days straight. Well, yesterday I didn't do too bad, but I got, I've been watching I've been watching Eat With Q and she's been eating a lot of wings lately hey Shanice so I got hey Tamika long time so I got um barbecue chicken wings which were fried rice and then I got regular chicken wings so these are what the the barbecue chicken wings look like. Let me show y'all. These are the barbecue wings, and these are just chicken wings. Um, <clears throat> come on, that's fine. Just stay. Chicken wings with um, that was fried and barbecue sauce. From Chinese store. And some fried rice. And regular wings. How are you doing? Like your... Oh. I know. You know. Me so. You know I'm not usually. One for color. In my hair. But. I was like, you know what, y'all, I got beef stew in a crock pot. I going to cook all day. So I said, let me treat myself. Because I have been going down. Oh, my God. Sorry, y'all. Hold up. I have been feeling down all day. Hold on. Let me take this notification off because... Sorry, y'all. I'm here. I'm here. Um, I've been feeling down, and I was like, you know what? Let me treat myself. This is diet birch beer. So good. So, I've been watching this show called Rain on Netflix. If you guys are into, like, I don't know what period that is. Medieval times or something like that. <laughs> With, like, Queen Elizabeth and Queen Mary. If you're into shows or into that time period watch rain I have probably like what the heck is this it's chicken barbecue chicken barbecue chicken How's RJ? He's good. He's in the room. Probably eating. He a mess. He literally, we laid in bed all day yesterday. <clears throat> and like, 
I did get up, go outside, get some air and all that. So I'm like, RJ, come on. Let's go outside. I was going to put him in his carriage and take him outside. He was like, no. Not having it. Hey, Rob, how are you? Y'all couldn't tell me I wasn't going to have barbecue sauce. Like, I have told them. Put barbecue sauce. And then I seen they got barbecue sauce out of my freezer, out of my freezer, out of the refrigerator. And I was like, you know what? I don't want no cold barbecue sauce on my hot food. So what's been up, y'all? It's been like, what, five days? What's been going on? I have been applying for jobs like crazy. <sighs> Tamika, it's good. I got regular wings too. I'm just being fat today. But. Oh my God, yes. Hey, Miss Joy, I'm, I'm on short-term disability right now. But I am looking for another job. It was his personal sauce, girl. Oh, also, I've been watching YouTube. I've been watching. Gay Babe TV. B Loves Life. Eat with Q. Eat with Q. Um, I haven't been watching BookTube all that much. Because I haven't been reading. I think I lost my motivation. For reading and writing, guys, it's crazy. Like, I don't know what's going on with your girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. Miss Joy, let me tell you about that. I'm starting over with my saving because... I had to get my car fixed. It seemed like all the money I save goes into my car. But I need my car at the same time. So it's like, uh, I'm just glad, you know, I had it. But no biggie. No biggie. Although my food budget has been going up because... I've been having cabin fever, and I'm just like, I gotta get out of the house. And I go to the grocery store, and I buy food. You having turkey, nuts, rice, and greens? Okay. I don't know. I didn't see that video. I saw it when I was scrolling through, but I didn't click on it. What's the giveaway about? Exactly, and that's another thing. Like when tax time comes, when we start taxes, I'm gonna want to put the whole, well, 95% of my tax money in my savings account, and want it to stay there. I want it to stay there. I'm gonna say it louder for the people in the back. 
I wanted to stay there. But it's it's just hard. <laughs> Yo. I need to like on Twitter. I I get the notifications for Chrissy from Damo and Chrissy. I don't know why I clicked that. I think I wanted to be, I wanted to be newsy on the gossip. And every time it goes off, my phone calls. Like Chrissy, you typing that much, girl? Get your life. Big flat person. I don't know why. I'm just not. I think drum got older than me. Where y'all? Y'all flats or drums? And I have bought. So yeah, back to the savings deal. And I have bought a new phone. Yep. If it ain't one thing, it's another. You so right. Exactly, exactly. Hold up. How can I sit, y'all? All right. That's just how it goes. I mean, I'm just glad. I thank God that I'm still able to get paid while on leave from work. As you know, some jobs don't even do that. And that's one of the reasons I decided to never work a temporary job. Because if anything happens and it's temporary, they're just going to let you go. And you're just going to be like stuck. Uh, proud of myself I can still pay my bills no so what y'all doing today I'm, I've been Netflixing it like three days straight you guys In my bed, chilling, but I'm getting bored of that. I'm just like, oh, I'm ready to go back to work, but gotta wait. Now, this chicken, y'all girl getting full already. I ain't even eat nothing. That's how you know my stomach's shrinking. Mm -mm. No, I tried, Tamika, I tried giving RJ table food, but like shrimp or tuna fish, he'll just sniff it and keep it moving. He'll smell it. He'll sit there and smell it for hours, but he will never eat it. Yeah. Where are you at? Where are you located? Oh, if y'all are in North Carolina, tell me how was this now? They wasn't prepared for all that snow. Oh, you're in Ohio? Okay. Are you close to B Love? I think B Love said she's near Cleveland, Ohio. Ain't Bow Bow from Ohio, too? I think so. I think that's what he said in his song. Oh, hi, where's where I'm from? 
Okay. I don't know why that just popped in my head. Oh, you're in North Carolina, Tamika? Yeah, my best friend said they shut, they have shut down. And that they're in, my best friend's in Charlotte. So she said they shut down and they're in state of emergency. And I'm just like, but see, I'm from the North, so it's different. I'm like, y'all, that ain't no snow. What are y'all doing? Like, shutting the whole city down for like five inches? Up Living up here, <laughs> we got five inches. It was, all right, make sure you got your boots on. Make sure you wrapped up. Go on out there to the bus stop. If the bus don't come, I'm dropping you off. And we had, we had school. Only time we didn't have, this is annoying me. Okay, only time we didn't have school was during the blizzard. Other than that, we was there. And my grandma did not play about me missing school unless it was like dire. Nia, is bad there too? Hey, Che. Man. Nia, you think it's on its way up here to me? I'm in Delaware, y'all. Well, see, my mom had told me two days ago we were supposed to get all this snow. So she was like, go shopping. Get everything you guys get. I'm like, okay. Hey, Sabrina. I'm like, okay. I shop. Get all this food, y'all. And I ain't seen near a snowflake on the ground. So I talked to my mom today. I said, Mom, where all this snow you was predicting? She said, well, that's what they said. And when I tell you I bought food, you guys, I shouldn't be eating this, but I bought food. But I got my um, beef stew in a crock pot. And I put carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, onions, and the, the beef in there, cream of mushroom, and I got the slow cooker. Hot roast sauce on there in there too. That joint gonna be money for dinner tonight. You watch. All that's missing is some biscuits that I don't. Damn. Biscuit. And I bought ice cream. And I bought the apple pie that you put in the oven. You guys. It fooled a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I know it did. I'm eating barbecue wings, regular wings, and shrimp fried rice. But, y'all, I'm about full. I still got all this left. It's crazy. Why did I, I just had to leave the house and go get something to eat. I just had to. Food is my addiction. And it's crazy. <laughs> so Mika, you know it. Huh. Tamika, Sarah Lee. You know it. I'm psyched. I'm psyched about it too. Look, I can't wait till tonight for my dessert. I ain't never been so happy to preheat my oven at 350. <laughs> I 
Yeah. I had this Dutch apple pie for the first time on Thanksgiving. Are you talking about something magnificent? Mmm. And that's the only way I will eat it if it's hot like that. Girl, Sabria, honey, talking about something good. Yes, with some ice cream. Now, the store I was at did not have plain vanilla ice cream. So, I got, yes, I got gelato, the talenty. Talenty gelato. I got the fudge chocolate fudge swirl. Yeah. And it was so, so good. Talk about something blazing. I am not really into the flats. This is a barbecue wing, guys. They dip it in the barbecue sauce and then they fry it. Hey, Ray. And your girl, I'm not a flat person. God. Sabrius, yes, if you go to, if you got a shop right near you, go to ShopRite. They got Friendly's and Turkey Hill on sale, two for five. You already know. That's why, this is, see, this is why I'm not getting any skinnier. Like, I'm eating stuff like this ice cream and all that but you know when it's that time you just want to grub and eat everything in sight and that's pretty much what I've been doing I had the um the holiday popcorn tins y'all know what I'm talking about them big tins y'all they have gotten smaller they got smaller it makes no sense they used to be real big and wide now it's not they small. Yeah, yup. <laughs> I ain't gonna put on too much though. I'm gonna tell you that because when I have anything protein. Anything protein. It's a wrap. So. <clears throat> don't talk about that popcorn. It's I used to give. Give out for present. <laughs> Girl, that popcorn, Ray, it is barbecue wing. That popcorn don't make no sense, man. I ate just about all of it yesterday. Two, two flavors anyway. No, so, I need to get all this chicken. See, this is, this is what happened. I sit here. This is why I'm about to, like, stay away from the mukbang community. Because I sit there and I watch people eat. And I'm like, oh, that looks good. I'm going to get the same thing. And I psych myself out thinking I can eat exactly as much as they have eaten 
What? Like, I got all this rice left. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Why well, I keep saying one, two, three, four? Five. Five barbecue wings left. And I still got like three of these left. Well, here's my dilemma. And this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. When I do eat on my channel, which I said I wasn't going to no more, but you see here I am. That's why I, whatever I say, it just take it with a grain of salt, whatever. <laughs> when I eat on my channel, when I record it, I don't get a lot of views. When I go live and eat and talk like this, I get okay views. When I do my book stuff, I don't get, I mean, not that I'm doing it for the views, but you guys know what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out what my niche is and what I should like stick to. When I do my book videos, they don't do well. When I do my money videos, they don't do well. And that just makes me unmotivated to like <laughs> get online and make videos for real. I'll be honest. I'm just like, mm, okay, maybe my subscribers aren't caring because I don't care, you know? How many orders of wings did you get? I got an order of barbecue wings, which from fried rice, and then I got an order of the plain regular wings. So, kind of like two, but then I'm like... Mm. <clears throat> I just notice when I have tea or gossip or something like that to talk about, everybody's engaged, everybody comes on the lives. And I'm not I'm not that. You know, that's not me. I'm not going to talk sit and talk about people. Like, I'm just not. I might talk about something that's going on. I have my opinion on it. You know. But those are the kind of discussions I like to have. Creative discussions. Kindly debates. You know, stuff like that. But, like, I honestly, you guys, I really don't know what to do with my channel. Because... As far as like views and comments, nothing, I don't really, I don't know what works because it doesn't seem like anything works. But I even put in a community thing, you know, where you can do like question and everybody in the community on your channel can talk. I put up that I wanted to do a QA and a video for people to send me questions. Nobody sent questions under that. And I'm just like... <laughs> Okay. I don't know what to do. But if I branch out and try and do one thing, then I'm a, I'm a part of a different community, you know? Like when I had... Hey, Maria. Talk about journaling, food, and books. Okay. Um... So you can do like budget videos, Tamika. Hey, Novel Crawler, how are you? I <laughs> know, Tamika. Yeah. You right, Sabrias.
and I do, I have the time now to post every day, but I just be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to post. I be like, my recorded videos don't do well, but everybody likes the lives too, you know? So, I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all, this is gluttony at this point because I'm full. Which one? Mmm. I did. I did a live where I was like somewhat teaching people how to write. Um, yep. Um, vlog, oh, guys, my, I don't go anywhere. My vlog is going to be boring as heck. Um, I had taught this maybe last year on how I write books and then I wrote a book on it. So maybe I'll do like a crash course on that. But I'm trying to honestly figure out how I can do classes and sell them online. I'm trying to make have it be a money maker. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, what do you guys think? I don't know. You guys, this picture was taken eight years ago. And my photographer, I was dancing. And... <laughs> She was showing me how to whine, and I was dancing, and she, like, snapped the picture, and it just came out perfect. Yeah, that's me, Maria. Thanks. Yep. Yep, Ray, that's another book. Um... Yeah, I, I really want to do that. I really want to. Oh my gosh. Chrissy Danielle, you don't cut that out. Thank you. I really want to um interview people. Because you guys, well, for those that don't know, I used to um sorry, hand on away. I used to write for CNN and I absolutely loved interviewing celebrities and people like that. Um I would just have to figure out how to go about doing that and putting it on my channel, but I don't have a lot. I don't have a camera. I'm using my phone. I have my phone and I have my um my Mac. I do have a Mac. Y'all. This is it. You girls. Your girl is done. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying, and I'm trying to, and you know what, I'm really trying to figure out, Tamika, like, what makes me happy, and not necessarily trying to do what everybody else is doing. Yeah, I probably will do that, Sabrias, and you know what, I talk about that in my book, too. I might make a video and just give like a couple tips here and there. Oh, working with the Mac. Yeah, but I gotta figure out like who to interview. Hmm. Yes, and that's what I'm trying to figure out, Sabria. What am I going to do that's going to make me happy? Um, It's sold on Amazon. Trying to figure out what's going to make me happy. And 
something I can begin to make money with. And I know it's not going to make me rich. Well, I don't know. That's God's decision. But, um... <clears throat> just trying to figure out how I can make my passion a part of YouTube. You know? Oh, okay. The name of the new book is The Crystal Method, An Easier Approach to Getting Your Words Out. By Crystal Diggs. And the synopsis is on the back. But... And I shouted you out, guys, my subscribers. Yes, Sabria, that's <laughs> girl. So, Tamika, I'll do my December budget today. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And you know what? I saw another YouTuber, excuse me, who's a writer. He was kind of having a hard time with his channel, too. And I know. <laughs> I know, Jerry. I can't FaceTime you no more. I know. We're going to have to do, like, IMO or something. Look, let me tell you, honey, you give me a thousand dollars, I'll go get an iPhone, but <laughs> I ain't got it like I used to. They was like, you getting rid of your iPhone? I was like, I can't afford a new one. So they're like, well, you can get on a payment plan. Y'all know I ain't trying to pay on a payment plan. Um, no, I said it's called IML. No, what's that? What's I can download what's that? I don't I don't really know nothing about it. But, um, so it was this guy, he's a writer as well. He's, he had a booktube channel, but he started getting like bullied or something. I don't know if it was trolls or whatever, but it was like real weird. So he ended up getting another channel where he colors now, excuse me. And on Instagram, he talks about his book and his books and stuff like that. But like. We've always supported each other from day one since we both, you know, realized or knew that we was writers and um, he actually bought it and left a review on Goodreads. <clears throat> if you guys want to check out the review, it was pretty cool. And I didn't even know he bought it. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. He was like, man, I really think that this book is a winner. He was like... Every get every beginner writer like should really have this book. So I'm gonna see what I can do to market it better. <clears throat> um, but you know, guys, you gotta spend money to make money. That's just the nature of the beast, and that's just what I don't have right now. That's another reason why I'm looking for a better job. So that noise I think it's outside RJ where you at um so I'm gonna try and see what I can do to get it in colleges as like a prerequisite for like a writing course or something like that or a creative writing course Where are they located? <clears throat> Is that somebody? I hear it. I don't hear it anymore. Okay. 
R, where you at? RJ. No. He not in the window. Where you at, RJ? You you like Santa that much? Huh? You like Santa? Huh? You guys, my bathroom? <laughs> R. Hi. Everybody was asking for you. What are you doing in here? Is this your new spot? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's okay, Sabrias. Let me see. You go to look online. Okay. Come January first, I'm gonna wake up and tear all that down. What I'm gonna tear down? My hollow, my um, Halloween, my Christmas stuff. Google for hair shoes. Thanks, novel crawler. RJ, I didn't mean for you to come out. You can go back in there. You ain't wreaking havoc. Oh, you guys, it smells amazing in here. my beef stew got my potatoes my carrots mushrooms onions chicken broth there is the meat there yeah that joint ain't done oh no it ain't done but don't it look good though yes y'all I'm gonna tear it up Look at that. Mm. No, my birthday is in a week and a half on December 18th. And I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about turning 34. And I mean, I know y'all say I'm like, oh my God, that's so young or whatever. I have this thing with, sorry y'all, I have this thing with getting older and not being where I want to be in life, and it like really bothers me, it really, really gets me down, and I'm just like, oh. but No, I accidentally hit the button. But anyway, y'all, this is still available. The moderator. This is about the YouTuber that ugh, stalked me. Cyber stalked me. Interesting stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, you can't. Y'all, I can't make people. Hey, Ray. <laughs> um, thanks. I can't make people a moderator no more. They don't have that anymore? Or am I tripping? Move. Y'all. Nope. Y'all. I know. Wait, what are you waiting for? Um. 
Oh, for me to send you your signed copy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not signing this one. I'm gonna. I'm ordering some new ones, and I'm gonna send it. To, send you one. Um. <sighs> Let me tell you, y'all. RJ is a whole. RJ is a child. He tears up an entire house. It's crazy how he does it. Look at him. Hi, Pooh. He tears up an entire house and then gives you the cutest look like he didn't do anything. No, I did not. I have it, though. It's <clears throat> He actually got me a collector's um, piece. So I might not even I might not ever read it. I might get another one to like read and tear up or whatever. Yeah. And you know, people still talk to him like till this day. I know, I know. And that's the Sabrina, that is the one thing that like I don't want to have. I the random stuff you find in your purse. Um, I don't want to have any regrets and I'm still very young. That's why I'm like, let me get my life and like get myself, you know, together and be happy, you know, within myself and I didn't even go to church today and now I'm feeling bad about it. But I just, I don't know. I, it's, I need something. I don't know if it's like an adventure or, you know, I just need like something. Yeah, I don't, I don't really give my information out. <clears throat> but I definitely know what you mean. But yeah. Definitely got to be careful. I am. I am proud. It's just I want to do more. And I want to travel. Like, I really want to make money with my writing, you know? Like, I want to be Stephen King, but with all styles of writing, not just books. You know? <laughs> London's gonna open doors. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get the passport to come over there. Once I come over there, do I gotta leave? Can I just like you know how the how how we do it here in the States? You move somewhere else and just switch your address and you're a resident there. New York. New York is so expensive. New York is two hours from me. It is so expensive, man. Oh, my gosh. That's another thing. I, have not, I haven't been writing anything. I, I mean, I did just finish The Crystal Method. Let me give myself credit. Like, I did just finish and put out a whole book. But I feel like I need to... How do I, you know what I've been wanting to do? If I did a podcast, would you guys listen? Okay, novel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yes, I could do a podcast. Ray, will you help me? How how do I go about doing it? Like, what site do I go to to do it? And I can feature YouTubers and booktubers on the show. Thanks, Jared. Ah, uh, we can call it kicking with Chris. Kick, kicking it with Chrissy. Yes, we can talk about everything. Ray, that's what I can do, Ray. 
I can do a podcast and I can. Yep. I ain't going to say too much more, but that's a great idea. I got a fuzzy on me. Yeah, yeah. I rem I remember blog talk. Yup. Oh my god. Ray, you taking it back. <laughs> I remember blog talk. I actually have done a couple blog talk interviews. You need a man like me, a good mature man. Girl, oh, <laughs> talk about it. Do I? That's for, look, Sabria, that'll probably cure everything else I'm going through. Look, all, all the disappointments and everything will just fade away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where are all the single men? Like, where are y'all at? Where are y'all, the good single men? Where y'all hiding at? Like, for real. Because y'all ain't in the church because I done been there. Y'all definitely ain't in the grocery store because that's my second home. Where y'all at? What, I got to go to some sports bars or something? I don't know nothing about sports, though. But is that where is that where they at? <laughs> They already have boyfriends about that. <laughs> they probably do already have boyfriends. Or on a down low. Speaker.com is good. Speaker.com. You here? <laughs> you a good one? Yeah, right. We go way back from them pal talk days when I used to be, you know, little, little thotty. <laughs> Mind your business, Jared. Love connection. <laughs> oh. I thought, Tamika, I thought you was talking about the show. <laughs> you remember the show Love Connection? Yo. Did he? What did he say? What was it? Oh my gosh. I thought he forgot about me since he went sky high. And you know what? He I mentioned him in this book too. I mentioned it in this book. Sure did. But one thing I will say, I what I really, really like about Peter, mom, and I can learn, I, I wish I could learn this from him. But <clears throat> if you type in Chris with a book or any videos, oh, okay. Um, I love, I have never met Peter a day in my life. I hope to one day, but. I love his drive. I love his passion. And I love that no matter how many times he gets kicked down, he gets back up. Peter is one of the most consistent YouTubers that I know who has about four different channels and posts on those four channels every day, like every day. A good man can give you life. Yes. I, I pray for a good man, yo. 
I'm telling you, I ain't the only one that's praying for one either. My mom praying for one. My daddy praying for one. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. His drama channel has gotten like extremely huge. He's met a lot of successful people. Um, But Peter's an introvert as well. I don't know if you guys could tell that, but. I don't know. I guess I feel like, and I mean, I guess people could say this about me too, but with working with like celebrities and big people, why they aren't further along in their careers. And the reason why it hasn't happened for me, like every celebrity that I had interviewed when I was writing for CNN, you guys, I pitched my work to them. Like, the actor Leon has read some of my work. Um, Tyrese Gibson has read some of my work. The singer Monifa has read some of my work. And if you ain't got the money, let's be honest, they don't want to work with you. They can like my work all day long and be like, oh, yeah, you got passion. You got talent. Um, but you ain't got no money for them for no projects. It's like, all right, off to the side. Let me go make this movie. Let me go make this album. Let me, you know what I mean? Like, and it sucks. It sucks, man, because you always like wonder, like, what if, you know? My mother, oh, yo, my mom, like, always liking something. Rejuvenates you, help you awaken and down. I swear. <laughs> yeah, I got the protein bars. I only got one left, too. Y'all are silly. Silly. Like, my mom called me today, video chat. She was like, oh, you glowing. Did you... You know, do your thing or whatever. I'm like, Mom, I'm I got good lighting. She was like, Oh, like stay on my business. <laughs> no, I wasn't reviewing them. Nope. I only think of you on two occasions. That's day and night. What y'all know about that? What you know about that? Who say that? We love. She's so corny funny. <laughs> she be like, what you know about that? That. I'm like, what? Yeah? See, see. <laughs> Y'all, I like, I, I have the worst cabin fever. Yes, Sabrius, I'm praying for God to send the right one with the whole package of what is for me and what I will enjoy. God ain't going to set me up for failure. Oh, that smells so good. Have you read Colette books? Colette? Who's Colette? Colette? Colleen Hoover. I love her. She's my favorite author. So you guys, I'm trying to think where where should I go to dinner for my birthday? Where should I go to dinner and what should I eat? My birthday is December 18th.
I just wait till God send me someone. I ain't nothing wrong with that, Ray. I'm waiting too. I am a waiting too. I should go to Red Lobster. I Red Lobster is just eh for me. I know I love seafood, but like. I feel like Red Lobster don't season their their seafood the way I want it to be seasoned. Like I feel like at Red Lobster when I make my order, I want to pass them my old bay and be like, "Here, put this on it." Amen. Yes, Sabrius. I'm telling you, man. When I am up for best screenplay at the Oscars, I'm telling you. When I get on that red carpet, they don't even got to ask me who I'm wearing. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> this is a Sabrius original. Oh my God, Tamika, yes. And you know what? I really do not want a man that has children not that i'm a i love children you guys know this um but i want me and whoever else to have our first on our own if i don't get i will say it i, I was gonna like wait but if i don't get the turkey baster you know what i'm talking about if you don't Okay, it's over your head. Um, but I will want me and the guy to have like our first together. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory is good. But they took away my spaghetti and meat sauce off that menu, man. And I was just like so mad. <laughs> they was like, oh, we don't have spaghetti and meat sauce, but we got spaghetti and meatballs. I'm like, okay, it's going to be the same thing. Because the spaghetti and meat sauce, you talking about a seasoning? That joint was seasoned out this world. Like, that spaghetti and meatballs was not seasoned. I was so mad. No, I'm going to be going to dinner by myself. My mom is actually um, starting a new job where she will be um, doing a living for six months. Yeah. So it's just going to be me. If no one takes me out, it's just going to be me. But I don't think anybody's going to take me out because I really I really only talk to like two people all day. And my well, maybe three people, my mom and my dad being two out of the three. Like I don't guys, I don't have a lot of friends like that anymore. And it's not that I've done anything or they've done anything. It's just we grow apart and are on different, um, you know, different paths, you know. And I'm the kind of person, if you're not doing anything positive with your life, like, I just can't, you know. I don't know. I'm trying to protect my energy. And I don't want any negativity. I'm trying to not complain or be down. As I said I was earlier in the video. I'm not trying to be down as much. And you know stuff like that. But like. I feel like when you're single. And you don't have children. And you know you're pretty much alone. For the most part. that's It's kind of hard. For the holidays. I don't know maybe it's a holiday blues thing. Um. I don't know, but I just, I just feel like if you're not doing anything positive or have anything going good for you, um, it is what it is, you know, um, I'm going to be home for Christmas. I'll be right here. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Amen. Y'all, you keep it real with me. I keep it real with you. Hey, hey, hey. No, my mom's going to be away working. She's going to be working. And um, <clears throat> I told her that I wasn't buying anybody for Chris, anybody anything for Christmas, mainly them two. But Noreen Norte. Nice. 
Even though it's not bad, but if you have family, you never alone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Um so my my family, we just on both sides, we're just not close. A lot of them don't live here anymore. Um Yeah, a lot of us, you know, we're not close, but I just I don't know. I I don't know. People are fickle. And I'm going to be honest. I'm Sagittarius. I'm blunt. I say what's on my mind. I don't care who it hurts. I can be very fickle, especially if I see you're acting a certain way or towards me. You know? Um, and plus, I have my days where I just like, oh, I just want to be by myself. Um, you know? And... I feel like when the grandmothers and the grandfathers pass away, that divides the family, especially if you weren't close knit to begin with. Like I grew up with my mom and my three uncles, my grandmother, my brother and my cousin. Now, my brother is nine years older than me, so there was a huge age gap there. But like now that. There, my brother passed away, but now that everyone else is older and ha or have passed on, you know, it, it shifts and everyone is like, you know, doing doing their own thing. Like my mom doesn't live here in Delaware anymore. Um, I live close to my dad, but like my dad works a whole lot. Um, and, you know, my friends, they're just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> pray for new friends. Um, you know, they don't have time to like do things anymore because they either are in relationships, which I understand, or they have children, again, which I understand. And we just, it it changes when you don't make time to continue to, to do the same things. You know what I mean? So, like, it's it's tough. It it it's de it's definitely tough. Um, one of my friends that I call my best friends, um, you know, she lives maybe fifteen minutes from me. I call her and be like, "Hey, you want me to come over and chill with you for a little bit?" And she's like, "Oh well, um, uh, my man and my girl, my girls, meaning her kids, my man and my girls are here." So I'm like. Oh, and like okay or like I had, had invited her to go to the movies were we supposed to go to the movies on Thanksgiving I'm like hey we still going to the movies she was like oh no I'm here with my girls okay your, your man can't watch your girls for two hours like you know stuff like that but maybe he can't you know I, I don't know I'm just like ugh. I don't know. I want friendships and relationships where I want my friends or my significant other to grow with me and my friends, if that makes sense. Like, you know, we did stuff when we were single. Let's do it when we're in relationships. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have kids, so I don't know what that's like, but I want to have friendships where no matter how old my friend's kids are, when it comes time for me to have a kid, I want our kids to be close. You know what I mean? Or to have that dynamic, you know. But, I, I, I don't know. Exactly, exactly, yep. Yep, exactly. <laughs> On the same time as your mom. Yes, Sag. Happy birthday, Sages. A. That and that's another thing. And you know what? 
I used to be that girl that distanced herself from her friends when she had a man. I used to be that whew, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, I was that girl. But then I realized, like, no, that's not fair. Like, no. So I changed and, you know. I incorporated my incorporated my friends with my relationship to an extent. To an extent. If I ain't home, you don't need to be at my crib if my man home. To an extent. But, like, you know, we all, like, did things together where my friends were included or, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like I told my friend, her her boyfriend is about to come home. He on vacation, if you know what I'm talking about. And like she came over with her daughter and you know, we had fun, we danced and stuff like that in my house, played with the baby and everything like that. And I told her, I was like, Man, watch soon as you do come home, I ain't gonna hear from you no more. You know, she was like, nah, I ain't going to be like that, girl, bye, like, you know, whatever, like, yes, it is. She was like, no, it's not. Watch. I said, okay, we're going to see. We're going to see. And her daughter, like, loves me to death, you guys, like, loves me to death. And that's another thing, like, when you break up with somebody, not just relationships with a guy, but like friendships too. When you break up with them, you kind of break up with their kids too. And it is like so hard to bounce back from that. And I think that's why my last relationship was extremely hard because I was so attached to his kids. And like when we broke up, I like I broke up with his kids and the family too. Yep, yep, and a lot of people don't have good balance. And I mean, when I do get in a relationship, I'm going to have to learn balance because I've been single for forever. So, I'm going to have to learn. But like, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to see my baby anymore, you know. Yeah, but like losing a friend or a breakup is like mourning a loss of a person because you know they're no longer in your life anymore in your world. Y'all, birch beer is the best. I only think of you on two occasions. That's day and night. I don't know why I got baby face in my head. <laughs> Ever you want all I can't even smell. Lord, what my pot roll's doing. That's another thing, too, y'all. I cook so much freaking food. Like, I don't know how to cook a little bit of food. It's just not in my nature to do so. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Like, I don't know. I think I'm preparing for my family. So if you were like that, or my maybe coming back. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yup, I'm still doing Weight Watchers. It ain't helped too much right now with the meal I just had, but yeah, I'm still doing it. It's not as fun anymore. And 
I'm working on consistency as always, as I always say. That needs to just be 2019. What is your resolution? I'm just going to say consistency for the rest of like the whole year because <laughs> Oh man. Plus, Sabrias, I don't want people around that always have their hand out for something, you know? And I noticed that, like, those are the kind of people that I'm usually surrounded by. Those who always have their hand out or who always ask for something. So I kind of cut those people out, too. That's another reason why I'm, like, just... By myself in my own little solitude. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And I just pray. Like, I don't know. I feel like I don't have a significant amount of people in my life right now. But you want to know what's crazy? I'm saying all of this. But, like, you know how. And God forbid anything. I'm not speaking death over me or anything like that. But you know how I'm having like, I'm saying like, oh, you know, I'm alone. I feel alone and everything like that. But like if something were to happen to me, or let's just say I died or whatever, hypothetically, everybody and their mama going to come out the woodworks talking about, oh, Crystal was a great friend. I really loved Crystal. Crystal did this. Crystal did that. And it's just like, where was this enthusiasm when I was living? Like, what? <laughs> you know, that's how people are. And like, that is one of the things that always like grinds my gears. Like, you mean more to people when you're no longer living than when you're alive. And I think that is so unfortunate. I think it is so unfortunate. That makes sense, y'all. No, I know what you meant, Tamika. That's just so, like, interesting to me how the tables shift. And not just necessarily, I'm just, I'm just using me as an example, but, like, I see this, like, all the time, especially on, like, Facebook. Like, um... <laughs> um, for example, when Kim Porter, the model and actress died, who's also Albie Shore and, um, Diddy's baby mom, um, when she passed away, everybody in a mama, R.I.P. Kim Porter. Oh, I loved Kim. Oh, Kim was this to me. Kim was that to me. Y'all ain't deal with that girl like that come on like you know it's just like really like you gotta have yourself get some kind of attention because don't make yourself popular over other people's deaths you know especially when you know you was not even thinking about them the whole time they was living or in their last moments Tanisha, hey sis, how you been? Happy holidays to you.
Mm-hmm. That's a perfect example. Perfect example, Jared. Perfect example. For real. Like, really? And she's like, oh, that was my friend. Was she? <laughs> I know. We just talking about life and, you know, friendships and relationships and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I just cut a cousin. I just cut a cousin off. Every time she called me, she wanted to ride somewhere. Down the one time I told her that I actually would take her somewhere only because I was going to the same place. And I would take her, I take her there. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, can you take me to the grocery store? I just want to get a few things. Two hours later, I'm like, nope, never again. And then like she kept calling and calling and calling. And it was always wanting a ride to go somewhere. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not doing this. Not doing this. I'm doing okay, Tanisha. I'm hanging in there, man. Yup, didn't I, Jared? Yup. Exactly. And I think that's like one of the reasons why I gotta get a blanket, y'all. Um, I really think it's one of the reasons why I have um, some trust issues, you know? Oh, what I miss. Richard, hey! Hey. Y'all, this lighting is everything. Y'all know. Oh my lord, Richard, I know your stomach was hurting. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was, Sabrius. But like everybody else, But I have I can't get my eyes. Okay. Did even another relationship, but that woman was the love of his life. And he realizes it now that she is gone because he is going through it, through it, so much that they said they worried about him. Oh my God, you guys. I regret eating my food. What? I can't get comfortable on this couch like that. Y'all know what's coming up next. <laughs> Y'all girl gonna be knocked out. Something serious. But, yeah. I feel bad. And see, everybody's like, oh, diddy, diddy, diddy. But, like, I, my heart, not because he's my boo and I love him, but... My heart goes out to Albie Shore. Yup. 
I'll be sure because he was with her first and they had a child together first. And like no one is, excuse me, no one is really thinking about him. And it's like, dang, that sucks. Like that was his love, you know? La la la. So, you guys done your Christmas shopping? I've done mine. I only bought for my mom and my dad. I got my mom something. And I got my dad a watch. I'm not either. I ain't even get my nephew nothing. But I already knew I wasn't going to get him nothing. He showed his behind. He's on a naughty list. I guess he okay. Is he comfortable like that? Like, <laughs> yeah, RJ. I better check and make sure he living, RJ. R R Oh, okay. RJ My cat I got to be tired I'm just checking the beef stew, guys. Oh, it smells amazing. Mmm. Oh, 
guess y'all look at that that looks so good mmm good them potatoes And it's just me, guys. Alright, I'm going to cook it on low. Put it on low now for like four hours. I mean, three hours. No, maybe two hours. Four o'clock, it should be good. Yeah! <laughs> Girl, exactly. Put myself in a big red bow and just be like, unwrap me. <laughs> Sabria, give me some of your fabric, girl. <laughs> But you guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to nap. And I will talk to you guys later. I am going to make my video tonight, Tamika. I'm going to film it tonight. Um, I'm probably going to try and do a couple other videos too. And I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for the support, the great conversations that we have. I really, really enjoy them. I enjoy learning from you guys, especially on the advice tips with like, you know, y'all know what we talk about, our deep convos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Keep achieving. Bye, y'all.